Okay, hello dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Here I am at Stanford University, the Cantor Museum, and、uh, there is a new exhibition. I didn't think it's so powerful and so interesting. The artist is Jordan Castillo, returning the gaze. Jordan Castillo. She was born in 1989. So, oh my gosh, she's only 30 years old. Later, we will see a a video of her making some uh, uh, self introduction or something. So these are her artworks. Being an empathetic observer in the world will always be valuable, whatever your practice may be. And、uh, from this painting, I originally I didn't think,、uh, because it's not exactly realistic. It's a little bit exaggerated, and、uh, as I. Learn about the story, and、uh, try to understand her style. I become more and more interested in it. So you can see her painting style is very, very expressive, and、uh, and her painting is an an exaggeration of a person's character. Style, and you feel that、uh, the artist is putting a magnified glass and、uh, looking into the soul and uh, and uh, every tiny detail of、uh, the person, of the model, of the sitter, of the person who is being painted, and. This painting is called Mom, and this one is Mom's hand. Mom hand, and you can see how much hard work, how much strength, but still soft and relaxed and tender. It's just so much in it, and it's beyond. Some word explanation can do, and、uh, this is a, not a, a pair of hands that uh, that uh, only doing manicure and not other things. This is the hand who wash dish, who cook food, who type write, who drive cars. Who take care of the kids? Who change diaper? Who does everything? But still keeps its elegance and uh, and uh, the desire for beauty. Mom's hand, and this one is called Mom. And at the early age of her painting, or her early painting,、uh, the artist Jordan Castillo, she is very much painting about、uh, something close to her life, close to her family, her parents, her、uh, sisters or brothers, and this one is mom, and.、Uh, There is just so much in it. As a mom, no matter you are, no matter you are, brown color mom, yellow color mom, white color mom, or black color mom, whoever you are, the the pressure, the responsibility, the care, and.、Uh, Just being a mom, you have so much to carry, to carry, to think about, and this painting really, really 
so well explain and illustrate that struggle. That、uh, yeah, my son made some trouble, or how about his job? And how about this and that health? Can I afford a good life, or can I bring the best of?、Uh, I so feel it, although I do not look exactly like this,、uh, this graceful lady. But、uh, as a mom, as a mother, the motherhood, the the feeling, the struggle, the love of motherhood are the same. And this one is very lively. It must be a bar or a coffee shop in Harlem. So Jordan Castillo, she started to paint her family, and then move on to paint some、uh, some human figures. And there is a painting invisible, all about.、Uh, Uh, human figures. So we will move around uh, because uh, we will not do so much about、uh, human figures. It's、uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> This video might be viewed by many people. So these are the New York street people. So it started like this. I will come to the video to see her. Okay, it's starting to be a little bit、uh, too many sound inter interwoven. Let's just go directly to her video. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I will do <laughs> my blah 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 to keep on with it because uh, uh, the museum inside is a little bit too noisy with those sounds, and、uh, also I am distracted. So now I can focus and do it. So this young lady, Jordan、uh, Castillo, she lived.、Uh, Uh, she was.、Uh, she grew up in Denver, and then went to Georgia to attend uh, uh, school, and then later on to Yale, I think Yale、uh, University, to study fine art. And these are her exhibitions. So she lived in different places, and she ended up living in Harlem, in Harlem, ha- Harlem, Harlem in New York. And she found the the diversity or the dynamic of、uh, Harlem is very fascinating, and it's full of life. So. At the beginning, when she first uh, uh, was in Harlem, and she was doing just like every other New Yorker, put on headphone and walk、uh, walk around or 
uh, from point A to point B every day directly to her destination without uh, interacting or meeting with other people without eye contact. And then she start to think, what I'm doing here? Maybe I should... Uh, I should uh, uh, do something and uh, do something different to be in the community and to understand the people here. And it, it might be very interesting. So she started uh, taking pictures of people because there was one time she saw one guy and with this one of these pictures. And uh, she she was fascinated by the realness of people and the real liveliness and the real character of the people. So she asked the permission to take picture of them and then she she told the, the sitter, the person who was in the picture, and she asked, can I take a picture and then later on I will do a portrait of you. And she got approval, then she studied about... Uh, the character look at the picture and see which angle was the best to do, to do the drawing. So all these drawings was just ordinary, everyday life people like you and I, who, who is not uh, so significant, who is not uh, so extraordinary, but uh, we are the most significant and we are the most extraordinary in our own way and she knows about every one of the sitters name one is mark one is charlie one is uh, whatever name anyway so the point is these are the real people these are the people who is next door to us. These are the people who is living a life, struggling, fighting, happy, sad, and, uh, and waiting, expecting, dreaming. And uh, these are the people who has their dream and uh, making an effort to fulfill their dream. Or maybe they are beaten by their, by the tough reality. Whatever way you explain it, it's real people, real life. And they are so vivid and they are so charming in their most authentic, charming way. So she started to, to do uh, the portraits, and everyone tells a story. You and I, the story of you and I, the most ordinary people, and we deserve to be celebrated because we are real, and the reality that we are real is a celebration by itself. And I, I, I look at the picture and uh, listening to her own thoughts, explanation, and it brings so much life to this exhibition. And it becomes so real. And... Uh, I feel that uh, every day, if we can open up our eyes and see the uh, world around us, it's beautiful. Just fascinating. So this painting is called Marcus and Jack. It's about uh, a young man and uh, his son. And this is in a barber shop. Now let's read the, the suscript. 
I first met Jordan in 2007 when she was a senior in high school. We were introduced by her mother, whose hair I had been doing for about two years. Jordan evolved into being one of my closest friends. As I took, as I look at the painting, the old the overwhelming emotion I feel is pride. She captured my son and me in my barber shop. One of my deepest and greatest passions is fatherhood. So I was proud that moment was captured and also proud that it was in the barber shop where most of my closest relationships have been forged. Putting aside Jordan's, Jordan's skills as an oil painter, I think her gift is to capture these moments and send a message to the world that even the common Joe at the barber shop, the common barber, the common individual in the society on the bus stop is worthy of being celebrated. So very well and touchy. So well expressed. Okay, maybe <laughs> I will just keep on blah, blah, blah about uh, our everyday experience. So today I went to the museum and, uh, and uh, I, uh, at the parking place I met one person because uh, the, there are some problems with the parking. I take out my uh, I was about to 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 park, and uh, but I didn't get to the payment, and uh, the one following me uh, actually paid for my uh, five fifty cents or one dollar parking. Anyway, it's only ten minutes parking. Anyway, he paid, and uh, I said, "How about I pay for you?" And he said, "No need. It's a pay forward." Um, uh, I will pay it forward, and it's such a such a kindness. And um, he was very happy to do this. And then I said, I made myself uh, um, a promise to smile every day. You know, I had uh, this project of uh, of uh, a kindness project, and uh, I am starting to do it to be polite to be kind and um, and then this gentleman said yes like Maya Angelou said be kind and greeting people it just bring everything such a, in such a beautiful beautiful place that there are kindness in this world and uh, and enjoy our heart connection.